You know, I wish you would just pick a side and land. Because sometimes you hate Dante because he's a dreaded cop, and then other times you're almost empathetic toward him. Well, I try very hard to just stay out of your love life, you know? You're a grown woman. You don't need advice from a loser like me. But on the other hand, I do see contradictions. I mean, you fell hard and fast for Dante. And he happened to walk in lying. He's undercover. Yes, he's duplicitous by nature, and he's damn good at it. Look, I've known uh, Sonny Corinthos a long time. I don't always like what I see, but I think I understand him. He's pretty much a one-woman man, devoted to his woman until he isn't anymore. And then he's a one-woman man with the first skirt that catches his eye. Now, I'm not saying Dante's like that, but on the other hand, I would just hate to see you wake up one morning and find out that you've burned all your bridges for a guy who used you and moved on. That's not even on my radar. I know. Dante's nothing like Sonny. I seriously resent people that think that. And as far as burning bridges, weren't you and Mom the town prize? Did you care? <laughs> no, that's unfair. And, well, no, I didn't that's care. That's my point. Exactly. All you guys needed was each other. That's how it is for me and Dante. Okay, I stand corrected. <laughs> Want to see me? Yeah. What's your take on Falconeri? Mind if I ask why? Not at all. Lulu's in deep. Is he worth it? I mean, I don't know, Dad. I, overall, I like him. He seems to be honest. He, uh, from what I can tell, he became a cop for all the right reasons. Which are? No, you still haven't figured that one out, huh? <laughs> what about Sonny? Well, that's where it gets complicated. I mean, I know Dante believes Sonny should be in prison, whether he's his dad or not. Well, I could cloud his judgment. Yeah, yeah, I could. I mean, the whole reason Dante came here was to take Sonny down. And he almost had him, too. And sending Michael to Pentonville was a, a poor substitute. It cost Dante a lot to turn Michael in. But he really thought that it was for Michael's ultimate benefit. You know, that he'd get a suspended sentence, community service. Now, he was just as blindsided as anyone when Judge Carroll sentenced Michael to five years in Pentonville. Long story short, at this point, I'd put my money on Dante being one of the good guys. I, mean, I understand why Lulu would choose to stand by him. Well, I hope you're right. I hope that she doesn't alienate herself from everybody who cares about her and then wake up one day to find out that he's just been pulling her strings. You mean like Elizabeth pulled mine? I didn't bring up Elizabeth. You did. <laughs> well, I can hear what you're not saying, Dad. I've been doing it my whole life. Listen, you don't have to be concerned, okay? I mean, all, all the anger and the uh, self-destructive aftershocks are all dissipating. And what's left? Some version of gratitude. Look, I... I got sold on the idea of me and Elizabeth a long time ago, and it took something, that illusion destroying, to wake me up to what I was refusing to see. And now I'm awake. I've let it go. What about Jake and Cam? There's nothing I can do about that. I mean, I'm, I'm their father. But if I could be just that, and not have to spend any time with Elizabeth? Sign me up. <laughs>